Yo, what's good guys? Coach the Tech here. So today we got a air cooler to review. Chinese air cooler, I want to say. All right, this one is from Ego. Um, you guys are familiar probably with Ego if you follow my channel. I did a few fans and uh, AIOs, all that fun stuff. Now I'm doing an air cooler. So this is the Ego P6 Gaming CPU cooler. We're going to break down the specs and all that. I believe it only comes in black, not white. Unfortunately, that's pretty whack. You cop it on Amazon for, I want to say for 40 bucks, but you do get a $10 coupon off of Amazon. You know how it is, so you cop it for 30 bucks. But anyways, I think it retailed for, I wanna say for 40. So I guess we'll review it as a $40 cooler. Now, overall, quickly, let's just look at this, uh, the, the specs quickly first, where it works. So, so it works both for Intel and AMD. These are all the sockets it supports for Intel. These are all the sockets it supports for a, uh, AMD. Pause it, you guys are gonna see it. Six heat pipes, so that's good. We're gonna see how the um, the heat dissipation goes from the cooler, and we're gonna see how you know how cool is, uh, cools the CPU. Addressable RGB lighting, a one 120 millimeter fan. Uh, I wanna say, I don't, I don't understand. It says eight through 120 fan at 800 RPM to 600 RPM plus or minus. I'm, I'm not sure. I, you know, I don't know what this means, but I'll have all the specs, anything I miss in the in the description below. Anyways, a, mirror, a mirrorless design, as you guys can see over here. Now the specs, I guess in the specs here, again, specs pause is gonna be quick. Uh, okay, so they, yeah, they come, uh, oh, all right. So I completely messed up. They put it mad weird. So it's 800 through 1600 RPM. So the fan speed is from 800 to 1600 RPM. They should have made it like that. Get rid of the comma, man. It confused the heck out of me. But anyways, all the specs, everything are here in the description. It looks pretty interesting. I mean, we'll see how it honestly performs. This cooler just got released not so long ago. Uh, we got the booklet over here. Oh, I already ripped it. Over here, let's see. We got CPU installation, bracket, Intel, AMD. Uh, Pretty simple, pretty informative. We're gonna go over the installation as well and we have how to install the RGBs and whatnot. Okay, so, I mean, it's not so much for a presentation. Uh, okay, that's that. All right, this is the cooler. Um, I guess it is what it is on that. We'll check out this. Uh, these are all the brackets basically if you're using Intel AMD everything is here They do have pre-applied thermal. They do have they give us thermal paste as well, which in this testing I am going to be using the Ego Thermal paste as well. So you get screws you get all that good stuff Anyways now to the cooler make sure of course you guys are gonna remove this before you install the cooler onto your CPU uh, We have the headers over here. We have a three pin ARGB and we have a four pin PWM Header over here, we do as well have a, um, a splitter so you could extend it essentially to your other ARGB so you could synchronize the entire, entire ARGB functionality. Now this four pin, just put it into your four pin PWM header. It could be a CPU fan header, it could be any fan header, which is PWM. Now the fan is already pre-installed, which I do like. We don't get a second fan. I mean, you can't, you know, you could just add one in here. This is the mirrorless thing. I did review I did review these fans, I wanna say, or something similar to this mirror, mirrorless or mirror design. Uh, heat pipes, they did ha they did say six. Let's see, we got uno, dos, cuatro, cinco, seis. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. It says six, all right? For all you cats who know how to speak Spanish, you learn Spanish, that says six, all right? Let's go. <laughs> looks nice, black looks nice. The RGB here is gonna light up. I mean, if we're gonna put it like this, you guys could check it. I mean, we're gonna see how it performs as I really wanna see. It's pretty simple, it's pretty self-explanatory. There's not really too much to go over. Um, let's just check it out, let's install it, and uh, let's see if it uh, performs for you know for the 40 bucks as it uh, advertised. Um, one thing actually, hold on. Oh, that is whack. So they don't give us, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't cut the footage on me, man. Producer man. They don't give us extra, Oh, wow, Ego, you playing, man. They don't give us extra clamps. So these clamps over here to clamp on the the um, the fan, they don't give us extra ones, which I, I don't understand. So uh, if you do want to get an additional fan, make sure you guys get these uh, clamp uh, metal things that you get them on Amazon or if you have any coolers that have them. So just make sure you do have additional ones. They don't come with this fan. I don't see here at all. I do not understand why, but yeah. 
these clampy things, metal things do not come. So if you do want to add another fan, you do need these clamps, yeah. All right guys, so just a few things. Now when you are gonna, if you are using an AM, AMD chip, uh, you will be required to use your AMD backplate. Now, this backplate is only for Intel, as I found out in the booklet. Now, the booklet is somewhat understandable. I wish it was a little more easier. Now, this, these standoffs are here for uh, Intel, Intel, Intel backplate, Intel. This is for AMD, so you're going to use your backplate that comes from your motherboard, the AMD backplate. You're going to use that if you're using AMD. Now, this top is removable if you don't want no RGB and whatnot, or you just want to get rid of this plastic, you could essentially remove it and it's gonna be like that. Installing it, fairly simple. You're gonna use the small little screws, see if it focuses, you're gonna, and you're gonna screw them on into the heatsink. And basically, this is for the AMD standoffs, and that's basically it. Now, when you're installing it, right, you have to remove the fan, keep that in mind. Now, when it's installed, you have to slap the fan back on, and you gotta use these stupid springs. Of course, it's gonna be a bit of a pain, but, all in all, uh, let's see how it looks and let's see how it performs. Let's go. All right, guys, so the Ego Cooler is installed. Now, I gotta say one thing, man. That RGB, ARGB wire for, essentially, for the for the light up here, for the glow, for the front. Now, it's pretty annoying. What I had to do is actually, when I ran it, I had to, like, run it through the heat sink, like, across the heat sink. So, basically, the fan is, like, going through the wire. But, I mean, it is hidden. You guys can see it right here. It's not really visible, but that's pretty annoying that they actually made it like that, that they could have like somehow maneuvered the wire in the sense where the wire will, will be easily hidden, not running across through the heat sink and then through the fan. Now, like I said, this is removable if you guys do want to get rid of it. But, um, but yeah, I mean, overall, simple installation. I showed you guys essentially how it is. The fan looks dope like that with the mirror design. It is pretty nice. But anyways, let's check out basically the uh, the temperatures what we get here on idle. CPU running at like, like 38 on idle. CPU speed running at like around 900 uh, RPM. Again, this is, uh, this is a 2700, Ryzen 7 2700X, overclocked to four gigs on all cores. Very important. It's very, very quiet. I'm gonna let you guys hear it right now. It is running whisper, whisper, quiet. But anyways, uh, let's let's get into the uh, stress. Let's go. One thing I did forget uh, to mention, guys, my bad before we get into the testing. The fan is three pin ARGB. So essentially what that means is you're, you're gonna need a three pin ARGB for the fan essentially to light up. Now, if you don't have it, the fan will spin, but then you're not gonna get no um, ARGB uh, lighting. So you're gonna either need a converter or you could daisy chain. And what I did is I had these slicky fans the Corsair ones and I essentially daisy chained them so they're all connected as if I switch colors and they're all going to be essentially like that so keep that in mind it's a three pin ARGB if you don't have that you're not going to get the RGB colors the ARGB colors so just keep that in mind Joe all right so it's been what a little over an hour right now so we're getting basically CPU at 66 Celsius fans running at 1527 as you guys could see uh, I will have all the other uh, coolers which I tested in the description below, guys, so you guys basically would understand where this cooler would rank. But anyways, now let me run uh, some Valley as well in the uh, in the background while I'm running this test. All right, so we got everything up and running. We are running at, it's actually going at 74, 73, 74, just actually right now went up to 74. So I want to say it's going at 74. That's where it's peaking. It's been running, running it for now 57 minutes. Max C CPU fan speed is basically at max at 1500 RPM. We have a MSI afterburner, power limit turned up. Everything essentially turned up as per usual as the testing. Now, like I said, in the description below, you're gonna see other coolers as well, just in the comparison to see where this cooler uh, ranks. I gotta say, not too bad, but man, this design over here, I wish they just changed it up, made it a little easier for wire management. It is pretty dope, you know, it does have that Ego logo. Uh, another complaint I have, they only gave us one fan. I wish they gave us a different, an additional fan as well as some clamps. They didn't give us no clamps. They gave us one fan, but no clamps to add an additional fan. It's also a big complaint. Uh, the fan is doing pretty well. Overall, a, dis a decent cooler installs pretty well. Like I said, what was it? Like 30 bucks you get it for the, the coupon. Um, not too bad. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, I will have everything in the description below, guys. As always, I'm Kosher Tech. I'm going to catch cats next time. Deuces!